Are you ready for the best eyebrow tutorial ever? That's a rhetorical question, please don't answer that. So, first of all, please excuse my hair. I went to a costume party last night, and I have to save this hair for tomorrow for Halloween. It'll make sense later on, doesn't matter. Plus, I'm super fucking lazy, let's just be honest. So, I don't know what's happened since the 90s, but eyebrows have fucking changed. Fun fact about eyebrows. It is the number one thing people notice first. Whether you realize it or not, you notice someone eyebrows. Because it displays our emotions. People are taking this way too seriously. There's too much shaming against the eyebrow. Gotta put a stop to it. To show you how to get the perfect brow in any situation. Step one, have no eyebrows. To perform said task, travel back to the 90s and pluck them all out. Listen, it was the 90s, it was cool to have pencil-thin eyebrows. Alright, Christina Aguilera was hot. Britney Spears, insert picture here. And there. And another one. Oh fuck, they're gone. As you can see, I've already skipped ahead to step two, about 15 years ago. You know what? They actually don't look so bad in this light. Look into an actual mirror, it looks like I've been in an accident. You know what? Let's just start off with an easy one. You super excited to be on this super date. Super excited! <laughs> Dude. Yes. This is so good. Oh my god, we are- we have to fill these in though, because the pencil thins are out, right? I'm so glad you bring me on this date. My favorite food is Burger King. Oh, you have a coupon for buy one get one free chicken sandwiches? Those are my favorite! What? Tell me more about how you have seven dogs and never have any friends over. I can't sit on your couch because there's too much pet hair? <gasps> Boom! Second date. Ugh, but now you're angry. Date's over and he won't take you to McDonald's to get a 99 cent cone. Well, now you're mad. God, all I wanted was a freaking ice cream cone. God, look how mad I look. Ugh, so freaking angry. You know what? Let's just bring it all the way down to the nose. I mean, you are just buried in fury. You know what? Next time you want to raise, walk in like this. Yo, boss! We've been into talking. That's a real sentence now. You know what? Sometimes you just want to be left alone. So you're going to be indifferent, right? We're going for the Bert and Ernie. Ah, that's a good look. I don't know about you, but I'm super turned on. I've never looked better. You know what? Maybe you want to be a little trendy today at the office. Or the corner. I don't know where you were. You want to go for the ombre look. I got you. Don't do it small. You have to make big, bold colors. We're going to start off with a Mimi Blue. Just dig right in there. Oh, yeah. You got to blend them. Got to blend them real well so they don't know where it starts and where it ends. I don't know about you, but that is the best ombre I have ever seen. Fuck me. Yes, please. Okay, well, a little infomercial on that. We'll just pull that back. 55 days left till Christmas. I gotta get the eyebrows ready. So we'll just draw a little Christmas tree eyebrow. Oh, that's looking real nice. All the way down. There we go. You know what the presents under the tree are going to be this year? Your beautiful eyes. This is the best Christmas tree ever. Look at that. I'm so happy right now. And then you'll take your number two brush. Or as I like to call it, the cheapest thing you could find at Walmart. And because it's the holidays, it's so affably named Elf. And we'll just fill those babies in. God, look how it's so festive. I ho, ho, holy shit, it's so good. And we're going to end with one of my favorite brows. I call it the I woke up and don't know where I am, but I think I had fun last night brow. Start off with said eyebrow. Now go out and make great decisions this evening. I'll wait. Tick, 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 tick. Oh my god, where are my car keys? I want to go home. Where's my other shoe? Oh my god, I said what last night? My Instagram won't stop. So, I hope this was helpful. I hope you bring two things with you as well. First of all, don't take yourself too seriously. I forgot the second moral, so bye!